Hello from Topper Holler. This is Kent and behind me here in the straw is Sarge. Y'all have met Sarge before. And um, he is settling in, not too bad. I think he had such a wild day yesterday that he's, uh, he's still getting used to his surroundings. But um, as you can see, he's got a very nice shelter. He's got a nice dry shelter there. Very warm, got some fresh straw in there, and he's very well contained in here. Um, poor fella is blind, um, and so he doesn't do too well with the other kind of fencing, so we had to put him in here with this kind of log house style fencing. But uh, he's very chill, very calm. He don't get too excited, so he'll do really well in his new enclosure. But he's been resting. Like I said, um, oh, yesterday was just kind of wild for him. So um, he's taking it easy and I think it might take him some time to get used to his new home. But uh, one thing that I've kind of noticed about him, he likes, so he likes being brushed. Um, he likes when you get in close to his nose, when you get in close to him and talk to him, like right to his face and kind of whisper on his nose, um, he, 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 um, he responds to that and he responds to us. So I think he's going to do well here. Um, this coming week, we are going to get him an appointment with, uh, with a vet to get him checked out and just kind of give him an, uh, just a uh, good once over, see what kind of health he's in. I'll show you a couple other projects we got going on. Uh, I'm burning out this stump here. Um, it's supposed to rain tonight and the best time to burn things is when it's raining. Um, so um, we're burning out this stump so we can turn this little area here in the middle, uh, in the middle of the driveway is gonna be, we're gonna fence it in and put some animals in there. Um, me and Marielle today, we put down some, we sowed some wheat seeds out there and put down some straw. And so uh, we're gonna get some wheat growing. There's a lot of wheat gonna be growing out there for the goats to eat. And um, it'll give us some more area for their fenced in enclosure. Um, so I'm already at two minutes and 40 seconds in this video. So uh, I'm gonna take just another minute to say an extra special thanks. Um, I'm gonna sit right here and talk to y'all. Um, I wanted to say, let's see if we can get the goats. There they are. Uh, I wanted to say an extra special thanks to everyone who's been helping so far. It means a lot. We couldn't do it without you. And we um, we're doing a special thing here and it's turning into something real. And that's what we want. Me and Marielle have been working together on this. And um, so, as soon as possible, um, we we have started the process of uh, filing for our nonprofit status. So um, so we will let you know as soon as that has all been filed, and once that um, once the all the paperwork and everything has been filed officially, um, then we'll let you know and we'll be on our way. And at that point, it'll just be up to. Uh, you know, getting through all the red tape and getting, um, you know, the IRS and everybody to sign off on what we're doing here. So that's that. Um, I wanted to just say thank you. Thank you for everything that y'all are doing, uh, for the attention that you're giving us. And we, we want to make it our, it is absolutely our ambition to give good homes to animals in need. Uh, that have been neglected or abused or um, or abandoned. So that's what we want to do here. And we want to, so we want to also be transparent about how we're spending our money. Um, our biggest needs right now are um, food for the animals. Um, not so much, um, it ain't too bad with the food, but um, really what we need going forward is um, fencing and housing materials. Uh, so that includes um, uh, wire and lumber for the fences, 
uh, lumber and screws and um, roofing materials uh, and bedding for the animals, straw. Um, so those are kind of our biggest needs. But really on top of that, something else we really need is um, money to file for our nonprofit. And Mariel says, uh, Mariel is, a, she's an attorney. And so um, she, it's, she's taking that into her, her responsibility to take care of all that. And uh, so um, she said it's about $400 to file for it. And so um, there's that expense as well. But once that is in place, then we can really, I, it really will make me uh, feel good about our situation and feel better about asking um, for y'all to consider uh, donating money to the sanctuary here. So thank you so much to everyone that has contributed so far. Um, we are so grateful, so, so grateful. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be great. This is gonna be a good thing. We wanna have a place where y'all can come visit you can come and interact with the animals. You can feed the animals. You can adopt an animal. Like I said, sometime soon, we're gonna have small piglets running around that will need good homes. And um, like, for example, Sarge, um, he is welcome to live out his life here, but if you come over and you meet Sarge and you love him and you wanna take him home, we can make that happen. Um, and going forward, uh, once we get the piglets weaned and fixed and everything, then. They'll be available for adoption and uh, we wanna keep it, keep things going. So if you know of any animals in need, um, let us know. If you um, are feeling like you would like to contribute financially or um, if you wanna come out and volunteer, like if you wanna help us build, uh, put fences together or help give the animals attention, they love attention and they need more attention that we can individually give them. Um, um, obviously we do, we spend time with them every day and make sure that they get some, mm, get some affection, some, some, some affection from people so that they get more used to us. But, um, we would love to have y'all out to come interact with the animals as well. So, um, holler at us and let us know how you're feeling and let us know what you think so far. And we are so grateful for your help. We are so grateful. And I hope that we can show it. I, can, I hope that we can show our gratitude and I hope we can do the right thing for y'all and for the animals here. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you. I really mean it. And um, y'all take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And come see us sometime. And uh, thanks very much. All right. Take care. Bye.